Cryptography is a very sophisticated, provable technique and form a very important toolbox for every scientist and engineer that would like to cope with security attacks and to defense the system from cyber attacks. Part of our mission is to educate the best cryptographer and security experts and systems and communication experts as part of the defense. Ben Gurion University is one of the world leaders in this scope. The cyber war that is going on today on the internet, on any uh, networks, affects everybody's life on various levels. And the problem is that the attackers are getting more and more sophisticated and many organizations and people don't even know that they are being attacked. It can shut down a turbine, it can shut down hospitals or the economy. We here at the Cybersecurity Center develop new technologies and new algorithms to defend and to protect users from these cyber attacks. On a personal level, we develop algorithms for securing and identifying malware for mobile phones and protect users from identity theft and send alerts to users that the phone is being attacked. For organizations, we develop algorithms to uh, detect the data leakage. And on a national level, we develop algorithms that can detect anomalies on infrastructures and on critical network such as the electric company, infrastructure for hospital, banks and other national level organizations. Every idea that we come up with, every technology that we develop, we evaluate it and we test it and we simulate it first in the labs, but then we develop it to the level of proof of concept. And some of our ideas are being developed to real product and system by industry or other organization. On another project, we develop a system that could protect kids on social networks, on Facebook, and could identify that uh, some friend is actually a fake friend that wants to attack the kids on the social network. Today in the world, mainly on the internet, there is too much textual information. So that people in the intelligence community simply are not able to process manually every text and document in each possible language. In our lab, we are developing automatic tools for dealing with that huge amount of textual information in multiple languages. First, we are splitting the text into words. And now we are looking for specific words in the document based on the model that our algorithms have built. And we calculate the frequency of each word in the document, which means how many times a given word occurred in the document. This word, for example, can be Zionist. We found out that the word Zionist in Arabic uh, actually is a very good uh, discriminator of terrorist and non-terrorist web pages in Arabic. If the frequency is uh, high enough, then there is a high probability that the document is terrorist. Of course, our model is a bit more complex. It doesn't use just one word. It, it uses uh, several uh, different words and uh, multi-word expressions. Our algorithms can be pretty useful for detecting the content generated by uh, terrorist organizations.